The Lowry Mailman, let's welcome Joe Tanner. Yeah! Woo! All right, all right, begin for Mike Ornstein, your host and MC. Good job, Mike. Well, what a crowd, what a crowd. We got the uh, school staff up here, we got the City Page people over there. The 70 year old up front. <laughs> and we put it on the marquee, see that? No, we didn't. No, we wouldn't do that. No, we're, no more 70 year old jokes. It's all brand new stuff. Anyway, uh, is there any teachers in your group tonight? Good. That's how I feel. Yeah, I have no fun. No, in fact, you know what? My, my, one of my teachers, I just read, Mike was talking about the obituaries. One of my teachers just passed away about a month ago. Miss Gorham. She was 96 years old, according to the obituary. It's like bullshit. She was 96 when I had her in fourth grade. And she's about 150 now. You know what? She always used to tick me off, too. She always called me Joseph, which I couldn't stand. But she would never give me credit for anything I did in school. I remember one time she said, Joseph, what's 8 times 6? I said, well, it's 48. She goes, good. Good? No, that's frickin' perfect. What do you mean? I don't think anybody else in the world could have answered that question any better than I did. One time she brought me up in front of the board. She was going to do these word problems. Remember word problems? What a pain in the butt they were. Brings me up there. She goes, okay, Joseph, here's your word problem. Do it on the board. You have four ducks swimming in a pond. Two more ducks fly down. How many ducks do you have swimming in the pond? I said, I, I don't know. She goes, come on, everybody knows four plus two is six. And I said, yeah, I know that, but how the hell does a duck come into this? <laughs> Let's go back to the 70 year old <laughs> Duck humor. Anyway, but, but you know, Miss Gorham too, she, her big thing was if you screwed up, you had to write sentences. Remember those days? Yeah, but she makes do it in cursive. <laughs> I hated cursive. You remember those Z's? Remember trying to do a Z in cursive? Mine always looked like a Y. All right, so I'm, I'm doing my sentence. Well, Ms. Gorham had to point this out about how I couldn't do, do a Y from a Z. So she reads my sentence out loud. This is from Joseph. We went to Como U and we saw <laughs> a black and white zebra. And I don't know what she was so pissed off about. She was the one trying to teach me how to do this stuff. Miss Gorham. You know, and I, I just hated fourth grade too. It was like the worst year of my life. You know, I'm 48. You think I've had plenty of years worse than that? It wasn't. It was fourth, fourth grade was the worst one. And I remember one day I woke up and I was sick. Okay, and I was really sick. And my mom said, What's the matter? And I said, Mom, I can't go to school. I'm really bad today. And she said, Bullshit, you're going to school. And I said, Mom, I'm going to poop my pants, I swear to God. And she goes, No, you're going to school. I'm sick of this. You're faking all the time. You're going. So we get to school, and I'm sitting there in the classroom, and it's like, I don't feel good at all. <laughs> you weren't in my class, were you? <laughs> Is this... All right, well, you know what's coming then. So all of a sudden, Miss Gorham says, everybody go out on the playground, time for recess. So I'm out there, and David Bowling comes up, and he goes, Tanner, you want to race across the playground? <laughs> And I said, no, I don't think that's a good idea. And he goes, why, are you scared? Okay, fine, I'll race. <laughs> he said, on your market set going, every step I took, I shit my pants. <laughs> we, we got across there, and he goes, I beat you. <laughs> I didn't get, you know, I had to. So, uh, I went up to the playground lady, and I said, I have to go back in the school. And she goes, okay, go inside. And the bad thing was, I, I was a walker. You know, I could see my house right there. I saw my mom outside. It's like, Mom, I broke my pants. You're staying. You're lying. So, <laughs> I'm sitting there in the class. I walked in, and there's Miss Gorham sitting there. And now Miss Gorham, you know, I think I finally realized why she was so pissed off in life. She missed out. She tried out for a part in The Wizard of Oz as the witch. But she's sitting up there at the desk. And I walk in. She goes, what are you doing? This is teacher's break. And I said, well, Miss, Miss Purdy told me to come in because I didn't have my boots on. And I was standing by her desk, and I, I was actually hoping she would smell me. Because <laughs> I wasn't going to tell her what I did. And she just said, go sit down. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm sitting, and the back row, this is a true story. Okay. I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the back row, 
And the other kids come in, and after a while, my friend Chris leans over, he goes, hey, and I said, what? He goes, somebody booped their pants. <laughs> and I said, I, I, I don't smell anything. <laughs> He goes, yeah, somebody did. Well, Miss Gorham got up and left. So he goes, I'm going to find out who did it. Okay. So he went up to the front row, and he went by the one kid, and he goes, <laughs> then he goes across to the other kid, and now I, you know, I, I knew what was going to happen here. <laughs> Eventually, he got back to me, and he goes, <laughs> I just looked at him and went, shh. <laughs> I sat in my mess all day. <laughs> oh. And I got home, and my mom goes, well, how was school? And I just said, I hope you're satisfied. <laughs>